Welcome to part two of this Ableton tutorial series. My name is Isaac Gravel. This is, and my website is seattleaudiofile.com. This is going to cover a little bit of audio recording and a little bit more of the interface of Ableton. So let's go back into Ableton. This is assuming you've already got it all set up and your, your interface is, is prepped and ready to go. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do, since I'm only dealing with recording, again, I'm in the arrangement view. I'm going to go down to the MIDI channel, right click and delete because I'm not going to be dealing with MIDI in this tutorial. I just want to focus on, on audio. So uh, I'm going to go here to my channel. And again, I only have one microphone plugged into channel three. So go down, select the channel that I want to record, hit the arm button, arm solo mute volume panning. And now that it's uh, now that channel three is getting some signal out of it, you can hear some latency because it's coming out of the uh, the uh, the laptop speakers. Uh, and I've got some signal over here in my view. That means that this channel is all ready to go. I can begin recording. Uh, I might have to go in and set the levels. I prefer not to set the volume control right here. I prefer hit tab to use the mixer view. If it's too loud, you can turn it down. Turn the signal down. The view is not going to change, but uh, the signal coming out is is. And I can turn it up, whatever. I'm just going to keep it at Unity. So, up here, switch back to the arrangement view, and I can see my timeline, and I'm all ready to record. Up here at this teeny tiny little strip, you see your overall timeline, and it's completely gray right now. This little black box is showing what part of my timeline is being represented in the bottom window here. And you can see my timeline has moved to a point that's not actually at the beginning here. If I want, I can just click it and drag it over. Oh, maybe I'm not clicking it right. Click, drag over, and I'm at the beginning. Um, you're probably also going to want to be zoomed out. You can use this for zooming on the uh, right or left side brackets will show up and if you click and drag the timeline will kind of scrunch itself as I'm zooming out uh, let's actually zoom out even a little bit more okay so now I'm at the playhead and I've gotten pretty close to overall view of my timeline and I'm gonna want to start recording first thing you gotta do is you have to arm for recording up here in your timeline controls this is uh, the arm button stop play obviously and this is to follow along and I'll get into that one in a moment so again check we've got channel one armed got some signal coming through I'm on the right channel that I want to be recording with so I'm all ready to go I'm gonna hit play and the playhead has started moving and because I'm armed up here We've got some signal that's being recorded in waveform format up here. You can actually see the waveform that I'm recording. And if I sing, like, for real, la 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 la, you can see it's showing up a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And now we can play it back. So it's playing out of my, my laptop speakers right now, and you're, you're hearing it. Go ahead and stop that. Now let's say, I'm, so that's the basics of recording audio. You just got to make sure it's armed and pretty easy. If you want to do an overdub, it's, uh, it's very simple. Just go ahead and uh, hit play. And like you, it'll start it'll start playing on, on the thing that you had just previously recorded. When I want to start punching in my, my, uh, my edit, I just hit the arm button. And it'll, without stopping the play, it's just going to keep recording. It'll switch over to record. If I hit the arm button again, it switches back to the old waveform that I have. And even though it's off the waveform, it's just going to keep going as long as the play button is hit. If I hit arm again, I'll just start recording some more audio. And it automatically changes colors, which is nice because it lets you kind of keep everything organized. I'm just going to go ahead and stop. So... That's how easy it can be to go ahead and make some little tweaks and changes with your audio. Uh, recording audio is pretty easy. Uh, if you want to zoom in again, um, here's another cool trick. I showed you the little bracket view. 
if you sit just below the little bracket and above the timeline here, your uh, icon should turn into a micro or not a microphone, the magnifying glass. If you click and drag down, it will zoom into your waveform, and you can just you know zoom all the way in if you want. Like this is way more than I'd ever want to zoom in anyway. And going up does zooming out. If you go, let's see, we're zoomed in a little bit and I go right or left, I can also just kind of move the playhead around. It's pretty intuitive once you get once you get used to how the movement of the mouse works with your, your zooming. Uh, I was also going to cover the follow along. So if you're going to hit Let's let's zoom actually. Let's zoom way in here, clicking, dragging down. Go to the beginning. I'm just gonna start here. Hit play. The playhead's just gonna go right off the screen. If I hit the follow button, it'll follow the the uh I'll be staying with the playhead and the waveform will just go by. If I'm recording while I'm doing this. It does the exact same thing. You're just going to see your waveform showing up and disappearing off the edge of the screen. It's uh, pretty handy for me. I like to see, make sure that my levels aren't peaking and that it doesn't look just like a giant brick or anything like that if I'm recording a lot of stuff. And keep, you know, stop hitting arm. It's just going to keep going until I either hit that or stop it or shut, shut off the, uh, the follow along. And that's the basics of recording and kind of navigating what you're recording. Uh, and that concludes this tutorial.